A'udhu billahi minash shaitanir rajeem Bismillahir rahmanir rahim We continue our theme Tawjihat akhlaqiyah minash tajarub il yawmiyah Moral guidance from everyday experiences We are all aware that the current environment that we find ourselves in It can be very challenging It can change us It can weaken us It can harden us it can most certainly test us. And as we know anyway, life is a test. But the kind of challenges and trials and tribulations that we are experiencing now seems to be at a global level, a test of who we truly are. An incident that may shed some light on how to approach the inevitable challenges of life. A young woman or young lady was complaining to her aged grandmother about how life was so stressful. She was tired of struggling and striving, and whenever one matter was solved, another two issues seemed to crop up. So complaining to the grandmother, the wise old lady took her granddaughter into the kitchen and put three pots of water to boil on the stove. She brought a carrot and asked her daughter to feed it, her granddaughter. She said, it's firm. The mother took the firm carrot and put it into the boiling water. Then she took an egg, solid on the outside, and of course, protective layer with liquid, soft flowing liquid on the inside, and she put the egg in another boiling pot. And then she brought some coffee beans and put that into the third pot of boiling water. After a while, the woman took out the carrots and asked her daughter to feel the carrot. That hard, firm carrot had now become flexible, spongy, and soft. She took out the boiled egg, the outside of the egg, which was solid, was now cracked. Easily able to be peeled off, which you couldn't do before. But more than that, the inside of that egg, which was liquid, became hard and firm. And when they looked at the coffee, the coffee beans, they both saw that the coffee bean had transformed that boiling water into an aromatic drink of coffee. Now the lesson, said the grandmother, you see these three things, the carrot, the egg, and the coffee bean, say, faced exactly the same challenge. They faced exactly the same challenge, boiling water. But each reacted differently to the challenge that they faced. The carrot went in soft, strong, sorry, strong and hard, unrelenting, so to say, and came out soft and weak. The egg went in with a soft liquid inside, protected by a firm shell, but boiling water hardened the softened interior and cracked the firm outer shell. You see, Allah makes reference not to this particular thing, but to this same notion of hardened hearts. ثُمَّ قَصَدْ قُلُوبُكُمْ مِنْ بَعْدِ ذَلِكَ فَهِيَ كَالْحِجَارَةِ أَوْ أَشَدُ قَصْوَةِ Sometimes people's hearts become so hard it's like rock or even worse than rock. They can become hardened. You're not born with hard hearts, but sometimes it ends up like that. But the coffee bean was the only one that overcame the boiling water and transformed its source of challenge. It transformed it into a drink, a delicious drink, a refreshing drink. This is a simple, very basic kitchen story, a thought-provoking story nonetheless, about perspective, about the reality of adversity which we all have to face in some way or the other, and how you view things that are happening in your life. Maintaining perspective on things helps a person to overcome adversity in challenging situations. But the question that the story poses to us in life are you going to let the challenges change your character and mangle your being? 
becoming weak like the carrot or hardened like the inside of the egg? Or will you be like the coffee bean, persevere, meet the challenges that you face with a degree of positivity, bear with persistence the challenge you face and change your circumstances to what is better? Life is often difficult. It can be harsh. It certainly can be stressful. And the world may feel sometimes like a pot of boiling water. But faith, patience, perseverance, all of these are essential specifically for a person of faith to deal effectively with the inevitable challenges of life. Allah makes reference in the Holy Quran the last verse of Surah Al-Imran, Ya ayyuhal ladheena amanu sbiru wa sabiru wa rabitu fattaqu allaha la'allakum tuflihoon O oh, you who proclaim faith, O oh, you who believe, patiently endure, patiently endure with a facilitating persistence, not only for yourself, but even other people, sabiru. Be patient and facilitate patience. Patiently endure with facilitating persistence and with the consciousness of Allah so that you may be successful. We can be like the coffee bean and discover the power inside us to transform our circumstances, to have a positive impact on our environment, overcome our challenges and create positive change. May Allah grant us the strength to be able to deal and overcome our challenges with Iman and with Sabah. Aqulu qawli hadha wa astaghfirullah wa salamu alaykum wa rahmatullah.